Good afternoon, my name is Jimmy Mack, and welcome to WMZD. This is Mazda Talk Radio, and my partner, Mazda Dominic, or Mazda Dom. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be interviewing today. We have Lynette, we're not going to say her last name because I just love the first name, from Revolt Vinyl. And Alex, I'm not going to say his last name either. The reason why, I just love the first name, and we're like family anyway. He's from MCA. <laughs> All right, let's go back to her. We vote final in the house. There you go. Okay, let me start with Lynette. How did you get into business? Let's, 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 let's put it out on the table. How did you start Revolt Vinyl? I uh, well. I played around with paint protection first mm -hmm. on motorcycles. I've been doing that for five, seven years. And in the past three years, mm -hmm. I started getting into the vinyl, studying it, gathering everything I could about it. I love that. I love what it does. I love what it can do. I love that. Um, I think it's going to stick around. Do you think, like, what, what is your response? Like, do you think the, the car came out good or not? I love the car. We played around with different colors on this car. And I, I kept getting a green and a red and, a, and some blue and then into the color shift colors as well. And I thought, orange, let's just blow it out of the park with orange. Let's talk about your company more, more in depth. What I want to talk about, where do you see yourself going with vinyl, um, and especially in, in the Atlanta area? Uh, we're trying to get other Miata owners on board. This is a small car. How, how many, how many uh, yards did we take to put this together? Well, this has, a, as you know, a custom top to it, which has extended fins. Mm -hmm. It's not your typical size, but we're somewhere around 12 to 14 yards. And this is or a closed brand. This is not 3M, it's not Avery, but it is a or a closed been around for decades. They make all the signage vinyl that you see around. Ah, okay. They make all the window vinyl. That's that's really them. And I love it. I, I use it in my shop all the time. Mm -hmm. I recommend it to my customers because of the ease that it can be installed and it's easy to care for. What other products do you have? We have tent. Um, we're working in the color tent field right now with another provider. We're doing different colors. We're in a test market still on that, mm -hmm. but I think that's the next next thing that's going to be pretty hot for these club cars. We, you had calipers. Oh, yeah. You also had wheel decals. Yep. Um, these are some of the things, if we had the time, we were going to get into right. and to put on this car. Um, would, would have made a stand up, but we were limited for time. We were getting down to the last wire. Right. And That's all projects go. Yeah. <laughs> nothing goes on time. Nothing. 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 Yeah, you could plan Christmas and still put a last yeah, minute That's why they Santa have a Christmas Eve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are your plans for the future? Like, with your company? Atlanta market is not, in my opinion, um, I think with the vinyl wrap situation and the color change, I think there has, this is what I feel, my opinion is, it's a high-end product is how it's perceived mm -hmm. for high-end cars, high-end performance cars. I'd like to get it down, that's why I'm a DIYer type website and product line is, I'd like to see it come down just a little, just like with the Miata Club. Mm -hmm. You guys do a lot of trades, a lot of builds, a lot of, you know, constantly changing your cars up. I think that same thing can happen with uh, all types of club cars. It just seems to be for the high-end customer. I'd like it to come down a little bit. So what exactly is color shift? Great question. That is the product name. Is you're going to color change your cars. They have the whole color line and vinyl line that is just for color shift. Meaning that you stood at the front bumper of the car, it might be yellow, it might be gold, and the back towards the back end of the car, it's gonna work into a darker color, maybe blue, maybe purple. 3M Avery, well-known brand. 
Uh, there's Oraflow, which is what this one is, Oracle. You have Vivid, is another one out of Canada that's a new, fresh company. They all have their lines of different textures, different effects, different uh, color shift to different colors. Um, it really comes down to the installer, what they really love to work with, to get their hands on. I carry all, Revolt Vinyl carries all the brands in all colors. How difficult is some of these, some of the companies she's mentioned, some of the products? How many people does it take? Could your average per person pull this off? Yeah, I mean, you know, it all depends on, as an installer, what you really like. Because this, this product, there are a little more flexible than others. Because every they work, it's, it's, it's very flimsy, so it, it just drops. 3M is more of aggressive glue. Mm -hmm. You know, something that I, I like about this one is it's it's basically having a 3M and Avery work together. It seems like it's it's kind of like that, and it was applied very, very easy on this pro on this project right here. You have companies like Orpho, they're very soft and easy to work with. Avery is one of my topics that I like personally, just because I can work it by myself. You know, it, it's not all the time you have people to help you, and that's why you know I choose. Stuff like this one, which is our fault, or you know, I'd rather use uh, 3M or Viv, uh, not David, but the um, Avery. You know, just listening to you both, I'm sitting here thinking, you know, you're, you're spitting out some names of companies and manufacturers of this product. I'm thinking, hell, why don't I just contact them and say, hey, look, I have a distributor, I have I also have a company that can install it. Why don't you sponsor me with the product? All right, we have another project we're working on, which will be the True Heart lifted car and trailer and I I have I think I sent you both texts the color I want that green well, I'm in, I'm in green. love with that apple green I want it to be more apple in my yes. opinion I want it to be a little more, like more, this more it, it was, yeah I want it to come out just, just a little sharper right so in, in saying that I would probably get with you guys later and find the company who has it send them a proposal this is what we need we need 25 yards yeah all right, and in that 25 yards, we'll put your name on the side of the car with the product and everything, all that stuff, and I can walk with everybody else. I mean, because this is this stuff expensive. Yeah, it could be expensive. All right, so what is expensive is, is the stuff that changes. You yes. know, yeah. Um, okay. Absolutely. The more effect or texture or. Uh, so the color changes also like they change. Uh, yeah. Even they even have film that heats up and changes colors. It can be your car's driving down the road, this mm -hmm. orange car right now. Mm -hmm. The front of it, since the heat of the road, the heat of the engine, will start, start to turn yellow to orange to red, whatever's the furthest color out there. Now, they've got that in apple green to blue. They've got the red to purple. Do you have, are, are there any, like, plastic dip, like, protections or protection? Or vinyl protections. Or, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I'll take this one. Um... People are now coming in and they're asking, when we've done paint protection before, we do a whole motorcycle on paint protection, which is clear, and they also have it in map. It has a lifespan that is longer than your vinyl wrap stuff because it's made of a thicker material, and it's crystal clear. What's some of the hardest things you both have done or had happened in this industry? I mean, what do you think is the hardest thing going on with both, in both companies? You know. For my, for my end, it's not a hard thing or something hard, but it's more difficult or time consuming. Yeah, it's more challenging. For example, I have done one of my, you know, jobs that I did, it actually kicked my butt, but I did it. It was the belly. You know, where Kelsey just gave it to me, he said, you go ahead and take care of it. And I said, okay, but I never done it. Um, you run challenges through the doors. You got to remove the door handles to actually perform a better job. And put them, sometimes putting them back is, is very challenging. Because they have to clip and you know, extra stuff. Uh, but the result at the end is, is definitely worth it. And you know, something that I have learned, because I've done you know, 10 for you know, 15 years so far. This is a project that I started. I've always been a fan of rap. And I just done it until the belly showed up. And ever since I've, I've been rapping, and you know, everybody say that I rap, I look like I rap forever. Mm -hmm. But I'm never, I, you know, I have only done about maybe seven to ten cards completely wrapped and you know I can say I'm, I'm real good at what I do and I'm the best I 
I'm real good at what I do, and that's where Perfect Jump comes in. How did you get started? You know, it's I would have passion, of course, but I really want to be a mechanic. That was my goal. That's, that's my idea. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. I wanted to follow. But then I remember I was working at a car wash, and I seen a guy just painting cars, and I'm like, oh, that's so cool, mm -hmm. you know. But some of the half of me also like to help people. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember me helping my grandma and stuff like that. So cool. So in my head, I wanted to do something, and I didn't know what, what was my niche until I seen this, and. When I seen these guys working at tent, I said that's that's I guess that's my niche. Mm -hmm. Because and then once I start getting into it and just learning tent and learning tent, I discovered that that also helped, you know, people. Not only I'm making the cars look good, which I like, I love cars, but I'm also saving people's life by not, you know, there's people that has cancer, so tent will help them from right. that, you know. And the beneficial behind the tent, it's it's awesome. Now they have the new thing; it's called ceramic. So I was like more amazed because now it's a stronger heat reduction, a lot better. You don't feel anything, and so I just I, I just give in all day and I just it's like love it. Yeah, and I loved it so much to the point where I wanted to know. I wanted everybody to know. So How yeah. difficult was that to do a Miata? Both, all three had hard tops. Once you have the skills and knowledge to do something, every car is it's different, but it, everything is the same thing. You know what I look for? It's it's it's. How difficult is it gonna feel? The feeling gonna stick to um, the rubber. You know, I have to do a lot with it. Some rubbers are very light. Some of them, you know, they are, they are they're close to the window. So I normally cut them and make them look uh, unique, or I can just hide the film. Uh, you know, when you guys contact me and you explain to me the project and everything, the first thing that came in my head was like, great, another sponsor. You know, okay, cool. But then I showed up and then I see the potential and I see the ideas. And I said, wow, you know, this is something that I can be creative because mm -hmm. I love being creative. And when you told me about it, you know, I just I just, I just had to do it. You know, For me, I took the project way personal than normal, you know, and every bit of, of the car, I wanted to stay here and work. And yeah, we, work. we put in some hours, all of us. I mean, we, we broke bread together. We sat around. But storms. <laughs> together. But, you know, more, more importantly, something that I normally look for, it's the vibe and I love that you know when you guys called me and I was here and I met everybody it was it was like you know good connection you know what I'm saying family and yeah and it was like family and I love that and this is what makes my business so great because that's what I always push and always follow and always you know goes for it. And, and I love you yeah. see the way I look at it and I've talked to Kaylee um, this is not gonna be the last project us four get together and, and do um, this we will continue doing more because I think it's our duty as a company to get the word out about your company and as I said we're we're like family now we've been around each other you know it is what it is we talk we, we, we yeah. tell each other hell you heard my mom's conversation <laughs> I try not to laugh man. <laughs> I mean I'm like I don't hear them <laughs> Question to you: why, why did you jump on? You came on a long time ago. Early. Yeah. Um, what, what What was in that email before you met me? Before you met Kaylee? What she, was in that yeah. email? You know, it's because I had a Miata, and it takes a certain kind of person to have love for a Miata. Yeah, Miata. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that was like the connection. Because mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I, I, I don't know. What am I getting with, you know, mm -hmm. what is Revolt getting into? Right. I love that it was local. Right. You were actually, what, two miles yeah. away from my house or so. Yep. I met you guys, but it was, it was, there is a certain type of individual that has a love for these cars. And um, it just came easy. It, our relationship with you and Kaylee, mm -hmm. it just, it just fit. We talked the same talk. Yep. You, what makes you different in a customer for Revolt is, and I think you could say the same for NCA, is you came to us saying, okay, I want, I, li I like these colors, but you were open-minded to what our inputs were. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you're looking at an expert here who's, who's has installed. You look at a person here who this company is, is supplies all different kinds of stuff to people, mm -hmm. customers. So. 
you were open-minded and it was like we could say let's black out the window or do the mm -hmm. do the uh, windshield rails there cool but you were open-minded and that's what makes it enjoyably fun we would still have a would you wrap in the honor again all day all day what are the two differences between y'all's company and Lynette? If you're like, we are a diy -er. we have pre-cut Products. We've got whole sheets of products. We sell by the yard. We sell all the colors that are out there. All the, the major players in the field. Um, that's what we do. And I, then I just I'm the installer. I grab all the input and I just yeah. install yeah. and make magic. That's that's different. When someone brings their car to you or somebody is looking for product, have you ever had somebody? Oh, well, I want this. Then they change their mind. I mean, and not me, me, me. Let's <laughs> take you as an example. Okay. Let's use you as an example. Yeah. And that was that's that's what I love about this product and the people who are into it. You either get it or you don't. You know what I mean? We went through a bunch. Yeah. I mean, you. But that's okay. I I like doing that with the customer. It's all right. Mm -hmm. I want to fill your expectations. Because you got it in your head what yeah. you want it to be like, and and, and it's yeah. our job to uh, yes. let you know what but we yeah. have. Facilitate yeah. that that dream, and that's at the end of the day, if nothing more, is is the smile on your face. We gotta have the customer. Yeah. customer. So what's next for N R M? That's all three combined. <laughs> 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 It's a good connection now that we all, you know, together because there's a lot more projects and we can show so much more. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is just the beginning of a future. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And and not only just rap, we can, you know, who knows? There might be a lot more things out there that is coming and, hey, you know, our card might have it. Well, here's the thing. You're now a Miata owner. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> In the family. He, he family now. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know, and it was weird. Like it'd be there you go. <laughs> and it was weird because I had never looked at it as a, as a car that I probably own, just because I just never show interest. In it. And that didn't mean I didn't like it. I just never show interest in it. You know, I like to go lower and like you know space and stuff like that. But working on this project, you know, and then working with you guys made me feel like I was out of it, just because I didn't have the, the same the same thing. thing. And so when I contacted you, I said, hey, you know what? You happen to know anybody that might have one, mm -hmm. and, and now you know I, I'm happy to say I have one. I'm more excited to work on a Miata than my own car, mm -hmm. and I have a pretty nice car. But I'm more happy, and excited to work on something like this, and I have so much idea. So you know, I don't want to say so much about what I'm gonna do to the other car, but that's something that what we might bring next year. Right. You know, but nobody I know this one, nobody I know what's happening. I would like to see you both at Maytag. Oh, I'd love, we yeah. both would love to. Yes. Absolutely. This is something you guys should put on your calendar. Yeah. Same thing with Dom. Yeah, definitely. For, especially for my first time wearing, it was the, it was the more from what he explained. Right. It was awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Just, just to see all the cars, to see all the people. It was pretty cool because I also looked at uh, some of the Facebook and, and, and things that they picture all these cars, and I was like, wow, that many? You know, and every, you know, don't get me wrong, every time that I go to a different place and I'm always asking, like, hey, what do you think about a Miata? Oh, well, everybody's had great input. Oh, they're great, they're awesome, you gonna love it. And I'm like, here, scratching my head, I'm like, how do I love it? I don't understand it. So, I'm about to find out yeah. very soon. You will. You know, you will. I did drop this one, and it was amazing. I mean, I, I just drove it around here, and I wanted to keep going around, you know, but. I don't know until I, you know, you know how they say, you don't know until you have it. Right. You know, so I'm glad to be part of it, and, and I'm excited. I'm, I'm really ready to do it. So. And seeing what we've done. What do you think about the car? What do you think from its transformation? From, and you helped. Yeah. 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 From Your his, hands were on it. From this car? Yeah. It was, I think it was, it was, it's a nice car. It turned out very well. It was fun helping. It's a, it was a good learning experience, and I, it is really fun, I love it, I definitely do it with all the time and making it, so I thought I was put into it.